It's beer o'clock on me, Lil Craft Beer. I've been to Sainsbury's for some beer. Uh, this is a beer from Fierce Beer from Scotland. This is their Maple Pancake, Pancake Pale Ale, coming in at 6.5% ABV. Here's a look at the can. 6.5% ABV for a pale ale. It's a strange one, isn't it? Because sometimes, like a brewer hits 6% ABV and they'll call it an IPA. That's that's the kind of the standard, that kind of Americanized standard that we all kind of vaguely work to. Because, of course, there's some beers at 5% ABV that are called IPAs. But I'm... I'm Quite surprised that the Fierce has not gone, okay, 6.5% ABV. This should be called an IPA, a pancake IPA. But anyway, that's just a small observation for me straight away. I like the look of the can, full of pancakes, syrup, and I bet it's going to be good. Maple syrup. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. It was... I think this one was £3.50 in my local Sainsbury's for this 6.5% ABV Pancake Pale. Look at that! Have a listen to the head, it's dissipating really quickly. Now, from my experience, the head is dissipating really quickly because it has maple syrup in it. And it has lots of kind of pancake, kind of slightly sweety flavours in it. The head kind of can handle it and just dissipates away, just disappears on us. That's okay though, as long as the beer is good. It has, it's held on to a one finger white head, but it is going to disappear very, very quickly. Um, good levels of carbonation, slow moving carbonation on the beer. It's a... I like the look of this, to be honest. I really do. This is what a pale ale or an IPA would have looked like seven years ago. Not really pale, 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 straw-coloured beer, but more of a amber-coloured pale ale. So it's a bit of a hack back to maybe the original American-style beers out there. Looks good. Um, oh, throwing it everywhere. Let's get the aroma. Oh, I don't normally like this kind of... That just smells amazing. <laughs> I don't normally like these kind of... adjuncty kind of beers, but the amount of burnt toffee... I'm picking up on this is absolutely incredible. Burnt toffee. I used to work in a restaurant, a kind of restaurant type pub type place, traditional pub years ago, and um, they used to make me do the, the, the desserts. And I used to have to blowtorch this brown sugar uh, on this dessert. Um, creme brulee. Creme brulee, that was the stuff. And this, yeah, this smells. This smells just like creme brulee. Creme brulee in a glass. It smells amazing. Really desserty. And of course, they called it pancake pale. It should be desserty. I'm not expecting anything else from the beer. It smells fantastic. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everybody. interesting it's really interesting if whoa, it's almost like a like a palate adjuster this one it's got a really creamy 
body to it. Lovely, kind of thick, decadent, creamy body. It's creme brulee after sticky toffee, after biscuits and nuttiness and... I wish they never called it a pale. I'm going to be honest. I wish they called it an ale. If they called this English ale. So fierce maple pancake, pancake English ale, or British ale, if, if you want to call it that, because of course they're Scottish, they're definitely Scottish. Then I think it would ring a lot better. They've tried to shoe in, if you like, this. I mean, like everything needs to be called a parallel these days or an IPA these days, or it needs to be Americanized. Yes, the maple pancake is definitely an American Canadian thing. I totally get it. But I would get it even more, even more if they just went, OK, this is this is kind of sticky toffee and, and, and creme brulee and burnt toffee flavours on top of a, of a British ale. Then I would say they've got us. They've, they've hit the nail on the head here. They, they've got it absolutely fantastically right. Just think that word in pale ale. Pale ale for me, it needs to be a lot more hoppy. And this beer is not a hoppy beer. It's not supposed to be a hoppy beer. So they just made a slight error for me on the naming of the the naming of the style of beer. It's a beautiful beer. It really is. It's so decadent and luxurious and fabulous, absolutely fabulous. The mouthfeel is oaty and creamy and nutty and biscuity and malty. That's the word I need, really. Apart from all of that kind of creme brulee and sticky toffee, there's loads of malt flavour coming through on this beer and it just all marries up. It marries up to something kind of traditional, but with a maple syrup edge. And I really like it. I really like it. Just a small tweak then, maybe from Fierce, to say British ale, English ale, traditional ale, if you want. Rather than, rather than pancake pale. Just because it's in a, a craft can, you don't have to call it pale ale. Because first and foremost, really, it's not even pale. It's not even pale. But anyway, I'm going to rate it. This is beautiful. I would have given that beer a full-on 10 out of 10. If they were just brave enough to use the words traditional ale on top of this, on, on top of the maple pancake. Maple pancake, pancake ale, not traditional. Yeah, don't use the word traditional because it's anything but traditional really with the, the wording. But yeah, just, just ale rather than pale. It's the wrong word. Nine out of 10, three pounds, three pound 50 in your local Sainsbury's. Lovely, lovely beer. If you like that kind of malty, biscuity, bready, nutty, creme brulee style beer, then this is for you. This definitely is for you. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.